EA Sports, and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From TPC Southwind in Memphis, Tennessee, live second round coverage of the FedEx St. Jude Championship. But if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. Our leader on this Friday is our featured golfer. He's got a sizable advantage here as he looks to increase it further. Yeah, that's a beauty there to get this second round underway. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay III. Thanks so much, Rich. And as you know, I have great memories here. One of the things I remember in particular is just the second shot is so critical on many of these holes. And coming from these pristine Zoysia fairways, players have the ability to hit it very, very straight and very, very long. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet, just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. No, didn't get that out there far enough, and it winds up sliding by to the right. Safely in. It's a bar here at first, and that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. They call that position A. That's going to be right down the middle. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Great job hitting one of the narrowest fairways on the golf course. Now rewarded with a short iron into a very accessible green. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, I don't know, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Six feet now for birdie. Yeah, well done. It's a birdie here at the second. It's a 16 under par. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. And it's really going to take a bold effort here. Water in play all the way up to the front edge of the green. So got to make your carry count. Oh, this could be good. Well, that one had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. Okay, a good shot and a putt for birdie here at number four. Nope. That one finished off. It's in for par. 
and he'll remain well in control of this tournament. Oh, that's a great tee shot. I know it doesn't count as a fairway hit, but when you're that far down there, the first cut is absolutely fine. That one was running so hot. Yeah, that's good putt. It is a par here at the fifth. He's going to maintain that substantial lead. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. from the fairway. Let's go to Noda. Yeah, great opportunity with the second shot here. Hole is cut in a very receptive part of the green. Very easy to get it close. I didn't expect this sort of uh, fireworks here today, but already with some birdies on the card and another one here by the looks of things. Okay, well done there. It's a birdie here at the sixth. He moves to 19 under for the tournament. This round's been a clinic so far, and that's another great drive and another good opportunity to make another birdie. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. One of the toughest scoring holes on the golf course did a great job of avoiding all of the trouble off the tee, now able to take advantage of this second shot going into this generous green. And this is looking really good. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when I left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. Trying to generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. He gets it to 20 under par. That one didn't wind up smack dab in the middle of the green. Chance now for another birdie. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Okay, that in for par here at the eighth. And he'll stay at 20 under.
Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. Oh, this is an electric start. Already we're seeing birdies galore. And another great iron shot setting up another. Easy as can be. It's a tap-in birdie here at the nine. And the scorecard's looking pretty good after nine holes. That's a 29 six under par. came out funny and it started way left. Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. So a poor tee shot at 10, now his second. Safely aboard here at the 10th with his approach shot, but certainly not safely in the hole. Long putt coming up. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. So that's in for par to start this backside. And he's going to remain at minus 21. That's a fun tee shot to hit right there. You know the wind is at your back. You tee it high and just let it go. Get it up there in the jet stream, and that's just what he did. He's going to love that. Okay, that ball online all the way. It's a birdie here at 11. And he's just continuing to pour it on here on this Friday. This one is lost to the right. Uh, no land over there. It's into the water, right of this 12th fairway. So the decision made to re-tee it, and now this will be the third shot here on this hole. This will be a 14-foot putt here. Uh, well read. That's in for a bogey five. And fortunately, with a big lead already, very little damage done. This one started up the right side. 
Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend, and that another good drive here. Now, no to his second from the fairway. He's got 159 yards left. Pin sitting back right. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Shouldn't be much in this for birdie. Ah, well done. That one rolled in for a birdie. And he continues to just build up a massive lead for the weekend. Goodness, that is not fair at all. What a putt from that distance. That did everything for going the hole. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll stay at 22 under. A left to right breeze, something to consider here as he eyes this second shot. This one looks right on point. Uh, it's been a beautiful round of golf uh, today. It's been a clinic with the irons and well, more evidence there. The swing, the strike. Look how close that is. Yes, a good roll there. That's in for birdie. And he's going to move to 23 under par. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Big tee shot here at the 16th, now trying to get this ball close to the widest section of the green sitting in the back. Good shot that is home and two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. That may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Yeah, that's good pace. Just a little offline, but not too bad from that far away. Now this for another birdie. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. That's going to move him to 24 under par.
really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Tough proposition with the second at the 17th, hitting off a slight downhill lie to an uphill green. Got to get elevation, but you got to keep it online. Which is it? Eight or nine feet? I don't know about that, but it is a great approach. Rate. This will move to his right for birdie. Oh, finishing strong. That's in for birdie here at 17. And he's got it to 25 under par now. Oh, look out, that's too far left. That's not how you want to start your final hole. It's into the water left of this 18th fairway. Okay, so the drop taken, and that will set up what's going to be his third now to this par four. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And it's going to be a rare drop shot. So will this be the week that our featured golfer claims that first ever title? Frank, it's looking promising through 36 holes. It is, and to just make that final leap to become a winner on the PGA Tour. Well, that's what's in front. It seems simple, but the last bit is the most difficult. So that's a wrap for all of us at EA Sports PGA Tour. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on the road to the Masters. <laughs>